Hello Pisces, it is me, K-Star. So welcome to my channel. So Pisces, we're going to tap into this full moon energy in Leo. And we all know that the energy still resonates a couple of days after the full moon, which was on the 16th. So we're going to tap into your energy and see what spirit um, um, wants you to know. Okay, and also too, whatever decisions that you feel that you need to make and you're not too sure if you're making the right one or if something is tugging at your spirit... Um, I'm going to also pull a three spread for that to a three card spread. So hopefully that, that can help you out. So, okay, Pisces, let's tap into it. Let's get into it. Let's see how you're swimming through things, spirit. For our Pisces, our water sign, sun, moon, rising, and our Venus spirit. What do you have us in this full moon of Leo energy? Oh, conclusions are within reach. Okay, so that means something's coming to an end. Let's see what else is here. Um. You and your loved ones are safe, which is divinely guided, which is in that new moon in Cancer. And what is this? Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So this is all about, this is all about conclusions and new beginnings. Okay. Um, family home front. Let me see. What's the bottom of the deck here? Okay. Your dreams need a practical plan. Communication is key. So here's the thing. Whatever it is, Pisces, that you want and you're feeling for, you need to reach out and step out on faith and talk about it and communicate. Start this new moon. This, you know, the air energy is all about communication. The new moon in Cancer is all about emotions, getting things together. And something here is about to uh, something here is about to come to an end, okay? And your dreams need a practical plan. So maybe it's something within your family you need to put down to a table and you need to strategize because apparently Pisces. Saying that your dreams need a practical plan, there's some things that you just want to get rid of. And this is the conclusion. So you be coming to a realization of something that something needs to end. Something is not from, for, um, fulfilling you. You being a water sign, here's a new moon in Cancer. Cancer could possibly um, be your moon sign too as well. But let's go in further. Let's see. What is this conclusion? What is this inclusion? Uh, conclusion here with this full moon eclipse. For Pisces. What is this conclusion here, Spirit? What is this conclusion here, Spirit? It's full moon in Pisces. Not full moon in Pisces. <laughs> full moon in Leo, but for Pisces, what is this conclusion? What do you want to tell Pisces about this? Okay. The six of wands. So the conclusion is something that you're dealing with is not successful, is not fulfilling, is not noteworthy. It's not worthy of you, okay? And you need to end it. This is why you got to revamp. This could be a job. This could be a loved one. Right now, Pisces, I'm just getting the energy that you just feel like you know better and you know it is better out there for you. And the situation that you're dealing in right now is not successful. This is not what you want. And this is not for you. There's better things ahead. So there's so here it comes with this communication. Whatever it is that you want to set your sights on and what you've been longing for, for in your passion, now it's time to communicate. Not only with your ancestors, but people in this 3D to help you get you to where you need to be. In other words, start putting your tools in line. Because I'm getting a sense like you may know who you need to contact or what you need to do to get what you want. You need to start communicating. Okay? Let's see. You and your loved ones are safe. What's this about, spirit? What is this about, spirit? You and your loved ones are safe for Pisces. What's this about, his spirit? The three of scrolls here, healing. So you and your, um, you know what? You Maybe you had had a conflict with a family member. Things are going to be reconciled. There's going to be a reconciliation here. Some healing is going to take place. Maybe you need to reach out, Pisces, or someone's going to reach out to you. What is this communication is key? What is this communication is key here for Pisces? Yep. The eight of wands here. Spirit is saying you need to do this fast. Get in fast. Somebody's going to come in and communicate with you fast. Let's see. Let's see what this six of wands is here in reverse. What's this about? This six of wands here in reverse. What, what, what's the card here? 
A conclusion is within reach. So you've been enlightened about something. Okay. What is this on six of wands here in reverse? Mm, the three of wands here. Something here is not getting started. Something here. There was a blockage here. Something here didn't come through for you. Okay, like plans, like blockages, just things not coming through. So whatever it is, it's not working. That's the conclusion that you're coming to. It's not going to work. Let's see. What is this three of scrolls here in reverse here? The ace of scrolls here. Yeah, okay. So reconciliation, putting everything down to the, on the table. There are some things I feel like you and your family members, your loved ones need to come to a head and need to sit down and talk about it. Um, also, too, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, your dreams make need a practical plan. And I just want you to know that your family members or whoever this is coming back to you to heal his situation, they're coming back with an honest heart. And this could be you, too, as well. So it's either vice versa. But that's going to be the key to start of everything. And I feel like once that is, I, I'm getting a sense like it's dealing with the heart chakra too. Once all those barriers are broken and you're taking a detour on another route and fixing certain things or someone's trying to come back and fix with, fix certain things with you, I feel like something's going to take off from you. Let me see. This is eight of wands here. Eight of Wands, his spirit for Pisces. The World card. Okay, so this is all about communication is key. So someone here is not feeling complete, not feeling whole. And this could be dealing with the family situation. Or this could be just the fact that you're just not feeling whole with life. So now I feel like you got this spark, okay? Trying to find the answers for life. Trying to find, you know, things like for your dreams. Because something ignited you to feel like, I, you know, you need to make a move. Something here was no longer working out. Let me see. What's this? Your dreams need a practical plan. What you want to tell Pisces about this? Your dreams need a practical plan. And Sagittarius got this too as well. A time for healing. Dreams need a practical plan. What else you want to tell Pisces? What you want to tell Pisces about this? The dreams need a practical plan. What else you want to tell Pisces? Okay, the Queen of Cups here. Got the Hero here in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. So I'm going to say this. What's the bottom of the deck? There's something here that is restricting you and holding you back. And you need to set your sights free from this. Move towards what you love. You're being guided by spirit. But with this queen of pentacles here in reverse, you, huh, somebody could be around you that's not helping you out. This could be a love mate that's not really supporting you on your dreams. And it needs to be a practical plan. For some of you, you could be in a sense of or in the mode of where you don't feel like you like like it's a um um scarcity here. Let me see. Or you're feeling like you don't have enough. Let me see. What is this? The hero here in reverse here. Clarify that spirit. This hero here in reverse here. I feel like you're not getting any help. This hero here in reverse here. Okay, the Queen of Wands here. So someone is going to come along and help you. Or this is just you. All about taking that action. Let me see. What is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse here? That could be your spirit, guys, too, as well. What is this Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? What is this about? The nine of wands here. 
This is either an energy of you are fighting for something to work. Or it could be something like you working really so hard at something and you just not feeling seeing any monetary gain with it. Okay. That's why I'm saying you need a practical plan because you've come to a, a conclusion to where you are and you know that it's not working. That's fine though because you're making a move here. At least you know. What's the bottom of the deck? Yep, here the four of wands here in reverse. You could be splitting up from a situation because you find out that this queen of pentacles here is not supporting you in your dreams. You're not getting the, the support that you need. And it could possibly even be dealing with a job. Maybe you've been working hard at a job too. They're not giving you a raise. Whatever it is, what you're putting out, Pisces, you're not getting back. Because you're putting the hard work in, but you're not getting back. But I'm also hearing energy too of reconciliation too with family members or whatever. Or just reconciling with yourself too as well. Okay. Four of Wands here in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups. Yeah. I feel like some of you was patiently waiting for something to change. And now you, you know, you just don't want to deal with it now. So now what I want you to do is just focus on whatever decision that you have to make and let's see what spirit tells us spirit decision for pisces whether it's spirit is going to say yay or nay spirit for pisces what you want to tell pisces spirit give us three cards what you want to tell pisces spirit Some of y'all may have lost a home too or even got evicted. Which one tell Pisces spirit? Ooh. Page of Wands here. Ooh, the Empress card here. Okay. And the Four of Cups here in reverse. You come, you, you, you know what you want. Spirit says yes. Go after this. You need to go after this. Spirit is saying yes. With this Page of Wands here, this Empress card here, and this Four of Cups here in reverse. Whatever was offered to you before, it is not a missed opportunity here with the four cups here upright. You just don't want it. You got it in reverse. You're very clear on what it is that you want and you need to go after it. Okay. Let me see. I'm not even going to. Um, you have the page of swords, the six of cups here, queen of swords here. So don't outfox yourself. This is the practical thing here. With this Knight of um, Pentacles here, this is all about strategy. Planting seeds and strategy to cultivate. Um, I want you also, too, to get out of your mind space with this Six of Cups here in reverse. This could possibly be an energy of, like, not letting go past disappointments. Somebody is coming back to you, too, as well. But I'm also getting this energy of this Queen of Swords in reverse. Being in his face in a way to not a pentacles could just be you just walking away of self-sabotage or confusion. I don't know. I'm getting an energy like you really trying to strategize, but I'm I'm getting a sense like these bookends here is like that's that that goes in with that support system. But then you have the page of sources. So somebody is watching, but this is also you being inquisitive. Inquisitive, okay? Going after your ideas and the queen of cups here. This is giving me energy of um, manifesting, praying, okay? And this ace of swords and just being real with yourself. But some of you guys, you are going to split up with someone with this hair font here. Well, this could possibly be just the truth of knowing what all the confusion is because you got the sun card here. But once you do all of this, look at here. You got the ten of cups here. Okay. Also, too, at the bottom of this was a time for healing. What does it say? It's time to release negativity. Oh, that's a full moon in Scorpio. So you got a time for healing and a time to release negativity. Conclusions are within reach. Spirit, give me three cards. What else you want to tell um, Pisces here, Spirit? What 
Why don't you want to tell Spike Pisces his spirit? Give me three cards. What positive messages do you want to tell Pisces? Well, spirit says yes to you, Pisces. You are having anxiety about it, though. Get out your head. Did I not tell you that? Where's that Queen of Swords at? Shit, is it in here? Remember I was saying that? Where is it? Yeah. See, you try to strategize and you keep looking back. Mm, the anxiety. You see what I'm saying? Walking away from the anxiety and strategize, okay? And this is you here. Thinking, overstressing. There's no need to overstress. Feeling incomplete. This is the world card here in reverse, but I'm going to put it up right. Because we're going to end that anxiety, that self-doubt. That's the conclusion. See, walking away. This is all about conclusions. Okay, walking away. That's the bottom of the deck. The sun card here. Truth coming out. The sun shining. Door to personal healing and happiness. Okay. So with that being said, Pisces, I hope I have helped you. I am K-Star and I'll see you next time. Bye.